um, excuse me, Curtis, er, uh, uh, sir? What? I think he's from another squad. Why is he talking to me? I'll be joining you for tomorrow's operation, so I, uh, I, I thought I'd introduce myself. Sure. He came specifically to introduce himself. I should say something back, or, or something. Come on, gotta say s something. God, I can't think straight. I can feel my face going red. I've heard of your skill on the battlefield, sir. I'll do my best, and I promise I won't slow you down. Just get out of my sight. <laughs> oh. What am I saying? No, no. It's just bad nerves. I... I don't know you that well, so... Um, I'm sorry, sir. I'll, I'll just go. Um... I did it again. Stupid, stupid. Why do I always do this? <laughs> hey there, Curtis. Scared off another one, huh? Laurent. What should I do? He came all the way to introduce himself, and I just completely blew him off. Well, a lot of people see you as the perfect soldier. You're quiet, stoic, and skilled. That's why everyone's so intimidating. And that's why people keep trying to get your attention like that. But it's all just a misunderstanding. Just when people talk to me, my anxiety flares up, and... I'm just no good at talking to people. Unless it's you or my sister. Don't worry, I got your back. Just like always, right? We can go tell him you didn't mean it. Thanks, Laurent. Hey, that's what friends are for. Man, you're kind of a nervous wreck. But your sister, on the other hand... Oh, Eileen! I've just got a quick question about our equipment. Hey, Eileen, you got a sec? Need a hand over here. Okay, I'll be right there. Eileen's always been so responsible. Everyone trusts and relies on her. Sounded like she'll be on tomorrow's mission, too. You're supposed to be the big brother here. You... Right. Okay, that should be everything I need for tomorrow. Man, when we were kids, I'd never have guessed we'd end up fighting back to back in the army. Not to mention Eileen joining up with us. She used to be so shy. Eileen's changed a lot since we were little. She's gotten level headed, reliable. I never imagined she could be such a warrior either. She's really proven herself on the battlefield. Maybe she's putting in the extra effort because she wants to help someone out? Someone she cares about? Wow. But who? You really are clueless. Maybe a certain brother of hers? Curtis, you're on the mission tomorrow, aren't you? Do you have everything? Yeah, I think that should do it. Come on, show a little confidence. Those Imperials will jump on you the first chance they get. Jeez, so transparent. Just come on out and say you're worried about him. And you, Laurent! Stop babying Curtis just because he's your best friend. Ugh. You know, you used to be a lot cuter. You used to be so scared of everything. And you'd always come crying to Curtis for help. What? That was a long time ago. You're being stupid. Anyway, just make sure you're ready for tomorrow, all right? You're clumsy enough as it is, Curtis. And I'm not a kid anymore. I can protect him like he protected me. <laughs> well, she's full of energy. Guess we gotta keep up, right? Uh, I can't take this pressure. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Dang. How did you even get the courage to volunteer? Really, why'd you enlist? Huh? I never told you? I joined because I was worried about you going off alone. Worried? About what? I'm just here to take out the bad guys. The Empire's evil. 
It's our job to make sure good wins and evil loses. I guess that hasn't changed. You've always had such a strong sense of justice. But I don't know about branding the entire Empire as pure evil. You're just too soft. If you want to survive out there, you've got to believe in what you're doing. Yeah, I understand that. But it's nice to know you're thinking of me. I'm glad you've got my back, okay? But don't worry. If you've got my back, I've got yours. Sound good, partner? Yeah, it does. Let's show them what we're made of.